Good day, viewers. It's my pleasure to meet you through this video. Because of that, let me tell you a story. This story known as one of the top four folk love stories in ancient China. Hence, it's the most famous and most influential love story. The story was written by Fan Dai, a professor in English and the director of the Center for Creative Writing in the Schools of Foreign Languages at Sun Yat-sen University of China. She teaches one of the very few creative writing courses that combines Western tradition. She writes and publishes creatively in both Chinese and English. And also, she is the author of the four non-fiction books in Chinese literature. The story was greatly known as The Butterfly Lovers, an animated retelling of the classical Chinese story of two lovers. It also portrays the romantic tragedy of Romeo and Juliet on how two lovers help apart by social strictures. From a distantly Chinese angle, it is a two star-crossed lovers facing the obstacle of a class-based arranged marriage. Their fateful convergence begins as the heroine Zhu Yangtai, a girl born into an upper-class family during the China's Eastern Jin Dynasty. Since women were not allowed to attend school, she begged her family to let her go. And then, she pretended to be a young man. There, she met a handsome young upper-class man named Liang Shanghu. They instantly became friends until fell in love to each other. Zhu Yangtai hid her real identity from Liang Shanghu throughout the three years as they studied together at Hang Zhao. Her love for him grew deeply and thought of nothing else but spending all of her days with him. But is the love they began will reach to a happy ending? Or uncovering the real identity of Zhu Yangtai might be the hindrance for the love story? Let's find out as we reopen the love story of the butterfly lovers. The Butterfly Lovers by Fan Dai Long ago in China, at a time when girls were expected to stay at home and learn household work while the boys went to school, a girl named Zhu Yangtai conceived a desire to study. Her family was wealthy and she was pampered, but her father did not want to go against tradition. When she pestered him, her father told her if she got admission into a school, he would not stop her from studying. Her father was confident enough that no school would admit a girl. But Zhu Yangtai was resourceful. She disguised herself as a boy and managed to get admission into a school in the city of Hangzhou, where her aunt lived. Every morning, she would put on her disguise and go to school. Meanwhile, there was a boy named Liang Shanbu in her class. The two were drawn to each other and in course of time became good friends. As the months and the years passed, they became inseparable companions and Zhu Yangtai realized that she was in love. She wanted to stay with Liang the rest of her life. She thought of a plan. She told Liang that when they finished school and he got a job, he should come to her house and ask her father for his sister's hand. Liang readily agreed. He too didn't want to lose Zhu Yangtai. If he married her sister, they could continue to meet. After finishing his school, Liang Shanbo lost no time in taking up a job. When he had saved enough to get married, he hastened to Zhu Yangtai's house. Zhu saw his coming and was overjoyed. It was a year since they had parted and she had missed him terribly. Unable to restrain herself, she rushed out shouting, I'm your friend! As you can see, I'm a girl! I cannot live without you! Yang Shanbu was dazed by the revelation, but Zhu gave him a warm embrace. Soon he recovered and remembered Zhu Yangtai. Suddenly everything had fallen into place. Now he knew why he had felt such a strong love for Zhu Yangtai, the fact that she was a girl. 
Wu Yang Tai took him to her father, who listened attentively to what Li Yang had to say. But when the young man asked for Zhu's hand, the father shook his head. Her father told Li Yang that Zhu had already been promised to another man, a wealthy merchant. Nothing that could make change his mind. Then, Li Yang left broken-hearted. He felt frighteningly alone. The thought that he would never see Zhu again filled him with pain. He left with a broken heart. After his departure, Zhu Yangtai discovers that Li Yang has become sick with grief and has spit up blood upon a parchment. Li Yang Shanbu is carried home where he dies. Li Yang's servant shows up later with a token once given to Li Yang by Zhu Yangtai. So now there is nothing left for her in the world. When Zhu learned of Li Yang's death, she lost all desire to continue living. She pretended to agree to the marriage arranged for her on condition that the wedding procession must pass by Li Yang's grave. As the wedding procession neared the cemetery where Li Yang's grave had been placed, the wind began to hold and the sky grew dark. Zhu jumped down from her palanquin and rushing to Li Yang's grave, threw herself on it, sobbing uncontrollably. A peal of thunder suddenly rent the air. The next moment, a bolt of lightning hit the grave, breaking it open. Then Zhu leapt into it. The storm subsided as quickly as it had started. When Zhu's relatives reached the grave and peered into it, all they saw at first was an empty coffin. Then out, two butterflies flew dancing as if they could not believe they were together. And as the people standing around the grave watched in fascination and bewilderment, the two lovely butterfly lovers flew out of sight. Love conquers all. Now that you have already watched the video with the butterfly lovers, let me ask you one question. How will you criticize the story? Aha! Uh -huh. If you will ask me the same question, I can analyze the story using feminist approach. Why do I say so? What feminist approach is all about? The story The Butterfly Lovers evolves the life of a woman named Zhu Yangtai, which depicts the inequality between men and women. In the story itself, Zhu Yangtai was not acknowledged as a woman with virtue and skills and was not permitted to educate herself. Their society believes that women must only be at home doing household works and serve the family. But Zhu Yangtai cannot take this anymore. That's why she pursued her education and overcome those judgments by pretending to be a man. In her endeavor, she fortunately found love and appreciation to the man named Liang Shandu. Indeed, true love will take you to a place where there's no more pain and tears, just like the butterfly lovers, flying all over the world, no matter what might happen, as long as they have each other's side. True love will also withstand the test of time, forever waiting until the love returns. It never fails, never dies, and never let go the one you love. Thanks for watching this video. Hope guys you like it. Annyeong!